Y'all already know what the fuck going on. I got my smoothie for strength. House of the Dragon, season two, episode three is titled The Burning Mill. And let's just see why it's titled that. I mean, it is House of the Dragon. And I got my helmet on and my smoothie for strength. So I am ready for war. Oh, 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 in front of my smoothie. You know what? You know what? The filming in Game of Thrones be insane because they really be having a million people out there. Like the Battle of the Bastards, obviously. Oh, the twins! What we gonna do to her? Talk to her or kill her? Alison is in King's Landing. Her son sits my throne. Thank you. There is nothing more to be said. Okay. Cause auntie, you could have ate Allison with your fucking dragon. Fuck you, Kristen, bitch ass nigga. Auntie, you could have killed Agar and Allison. Don't tell Ray Nira to do something. In the middle of all this shit that's going on. Talk about talk to Allison. Allison is the key, bitch. Allison is the cause of the shit. She raised. First of all, Allison raised her fucking kids to hate their sister Ray Nira. Let's just start there. Rhaenyra wants to kill her brothers and you have to be scared of her and she don't she wants to do this and Rhaenyra is this Rhaenyra her kids this Rhaenyra her kids this bitch Rhaenyra has never did it I gotta go on my rant real quick because I'm pissed off mind you Rhaenyra ain't never did shit to Allison ain't never did shit to Allison and her kids but when Rhaenyra start having kids all of a sudden she want to think everything is about it's don't get me started it was all about, I'm so sick, this bit. When Rhaenyra started having kids, Allison was so fucking obsessed. Them ain't Targaryens. Them ain't Targaryens. Bitch, if you just want to eat her coochie, just say that. Why are you so fucking obsessed with Rhaenyra? If y'all don't understand what I'm talking about, y'all need to go back and watch House of the Dragon. Allison literally eats, sleeps, and breathes Rhaenyra. When Rhaenyra gave birth to that baby, we couldn't even talk about her ancient husband, Valerian relative, the nigga who faked his death so he can go be gay in peace. Rhaenyra had just pushed that motherfucking baby out and she gonna call for them to come see to her so she could look at her baby. Bitch, I fucking hate Allison, like I don't need y'all. Y'all don't even understand. This bitch just act like her life been so fucking hard, living a life of luxury, and all you had to do was have kids and raise your kids. Bitch, you ain't had to do shit, and you raised them to hate their sister and their nephews, and then try to make it seem like she's the person that you are. Like, and it's crazy because Allison really do believe that she's a good person, but she's not. And then you already kind of realize that your daddy used you as a pawn because he's the only one playing the Game of Thrones here, really. Rhaenyra is a sweet baby angel, okay? She just wanted to eat and tra eat cake and travel the world. She ain't never did nothing to nobody. Her daddy had the whole motherfucking ceremony, King Viserys. I don't know why y'all keep acting like that didn't happen. Like, does the king's word means nothing? Like, as soon as he died, just everything just went out the fucking window. Don't even get me started on Sir Kristen, because I go on this rant every week. You and Ray Nera was kids. Y'all had sex. <laughs> you asked her to run away with you. She said no, and now you fucking hate her and condemn her to death. You and Allison deserve each other. Fuck all y'all niggas. Fuck all of y'all. And then Vega. Vega will remain here to defend the city. I don't want Vagar to die. Too your awesome. fucking cousins is supposed to be riding Vagar, bitch. I'll you took to your you. auntie dragon from them girls when they was grieving her mama death. <laughs> Damn, what the hell happened here? Don't jump scare me. I just finished eating. You just walked right in on these people. I'm claiming Iron Hall. <laughs> he came in and said, I'm claiming it. They was just talking shit about you at the council with the king. Oh, that was easy. Thank you. There's broth too. I made sure of it. I am no longer an invalid. I love their relationship. They really love each other. Tyraxes and Stormcloud are young and vulnerable. Okay. These eggs are even more fragile. Yes. I love seeing dragon eggs. She's trusting you with life. She's sending them too. I didn't know she was sending her and Damon kids. 
Oh my God, I swear to, I, okay. I didn't know all her kids was going. I'm not watching this show if something happened to any more Rainier kids. Oh my God. I, I wish them well on their journey. I Just can't wait on him to die. I'm gonna laugh. Okay. So good. What it's gonna be a knee slapper. The Feet Man has arrived. Mm. I don't know the Feet Man name, y'all. I'm just calling him the Feet Man. Amen the fierce. <laughs> he drunk, so he finna drag this on all night. Exaggerate. Such is the madam's prowess that even now my brother will not sample another. <laughs> I didn't I didn't sign up to see his little white dick today. I want to rewind it and see what he said, but I don't want to see his dick again. Is that a dragon? Oh my god! Kill them niggas! Kill them niggas! Come on. Ooh, I'm make, knocking my light over. Please give me something. Girl, you wasn't even looking for them. You just stumbled upon them. Zipa. Fuck. My damn light didn't fail. Stay in the woods, bitch, because if you come out, that ass is grass. Could you imagine how iconic that scene would have been? Her find the ass up, literally. Is he dreaming? And I have to clean up. <gasps> oh. My. Fucking. God. The symbolism of young Rhaenyra and Jaehaerys. Wait till she sees Rhaenyra. She gonna shit on herself. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, Rhaenys has counseled me. She said she saw in you a wish to avert the worst of what may now come. It's too late, Rhaenyra. Alison. Kill that hoe. I can't believe you just let this bitch walk free who is the reason of all of your pain and suffering. She raised her kids to hate you and your kids. She said your daddy made Aegon the king. That's not what the fuck happened. And you just let this bitch walk away? Damon would never. And I don't even like Damon. Right near. This better not be the end of the goddamn episode. This better not be the end. Oh my fucking God. Nigga. I done knock my light over again. You know what? It's time for me to end this reaction video because I done knock my light over 10 goddamn times. So I'm gonna just hold my light. I really wish that Rhaenyra would stop giving people the grace that would never give her this grace in a million fucking years. I am tired. I have had it. This bitch, Allison, is literally the reason. After right near her mama died, like that is sad. Losing her siblings, her mama having all the miscarriages and her mama dying. Okay, that's obviously his own thing. All of Rhaenyra's pain and suffering outside of her mama dying is literally Allison's fault. Like literally, it's all that bitch's fault. And it is just mind blowing to me that you just took your auntie bullshit ass advice to go talk to Allison. Now, Allison damn near ain't never finna go pray again because she know you could just come sneak up on her at any given moment. You pulled out your knife for what? For what? For what? Like all the damage Allison has done, it doesn't even matter at this point because all the damage that she did, it mattered then. Like it doesn't matter now because none of the men fucking listen to her. She already did all the damage raising her kids to hate you and they brothers. Hey, raise it. She already did all the damage raising her kids to hate you and your kids and then saying that Viserys named Aegon the king. She already did all the damage. So now it's too fucking late. You could have just whooped the whole ass and killed her and then you would have had a little piece. And now I'm sitting here with an attitude. This was a fucking movie. This was really good. And you know Game of Thrones is known for the crazy everything really this the storytelling is amazing the action scenes are in fucking sane the cinematography all of that they have given us everything so far but the huge action scenes which i'm thoroughly enjoying because i have an attention span y'all don't gotta whoop my ass for me to pay attention but the ass whooping is coming okay this this is game of thrones they, they're not letting us off easy it will be a lot of ass 
getting what before season two is over.